I always give a little talk before my meditation because I like to give you the inspiration behind it, what I'm feeling, how I created it, and also just lead you into that meditation space slowly and intentionally. So if you had a lot of stuff going on right before you logged on here or you know hit the play button, I wanna just help you to transition. Transition from that place of chaos into a place of self-love and of self-service, which is an important thing. It's important that we care for ourselves every single day, at least in a little way. So joining me here for this meditation for a few minutes is one way to do that, but do whatever feels good. Hmm. Today's meditation is inspired by the most beautiful person and Gosh, the most moving conversation that I had with her last night. Her name is Cody. She is part of many of my coaching groups. And we had a one-on-one -on -one conversation last night. And she said something that not only moved me, but moved me to tears. She said, I cannot expand and contract at the same time. I cannot expand and contract at the same time. I can't grow while purposely keeping myself small, while saying no to things that I want to do, while, and I'm expanding on what she said, <laughs> this is not a direct quote, but saying no to the things that make me feel good, that I know are going to move me forward because I'm afraid. I can't expand and grow emotionally, spiritually, mentally, if I'm holding myself back, if I'm making myself small, if I'm making myself invisible. And that moved me so profoundly because I realized that's what I've been doing in many areas of my life. I've been afraid because I've always been the one in control. I've always been responsible for myself, taking care of myself. And when I've placed my trust in other people, even my parents, even my parents, didn't measure up to their full responsibility, didn't really take full responsibility the way they should have. When I put my faith in other people, they let me down. And so that's kept me from taking big leaps. Sometimes I do, a lot of times I don't. But how can I grow if I'm constantly making myself small? You can't do that at the same time. You cannot contract and expand at the same time. And I'm going to give you a more positive mantra to use during the meditation. So it's not like I can't do something, it's what you can do. Take a big inhale and exhale with me. Trying to release any residual tension that you're holding on to from the day. It's only 11 a.m. here, but gosh, I've been up since ugh, like five o'clock doing stuff. So I've already accumulated a lot of tension. So I want you to let that go with me with a big cleansing inhale and exhale. Let it go. I close my eyes during meditation to remove any visual distractions, but you can leave your eyes open if that's more comfortable. A lot of people feel unsafe closing their eyes, so feel free to keep them open if that feels good for you. Just place your gaze softly on an object or a place across the room on the floor in front of you, right past your nose. The breath, just following the breath, is such an easy way to move into meditation. Anyone can meditate. If you can breathe, you can meditate. It's not about clearing your mind of all thoughts. It's not about feeling perfectly calm. You might get there, which is awesome, but it doesn't have to start that way. And it doesn't have to end that way. Just follow your breath. You're easy effortless, natural inhales and exhales as they are. Don't force any change in this moment. Just let everything be as it is. Inhale. Exhale, release. Sit up tall if you can, lifting your shoulders up to your ears with an inhale. Exhale, roll your shoulder blades down along your spine. 
You can place your hands on your knees or your thighs, upturn to receive energy, downturn to seal energy. So if you want to feel protected, you want to feel safe, if you want to really seal in this practice to just this space and time, you can leave your hands downturned. But if you want to feel energized, vibrant, if you want to take in all the good vibes, leave them upturned. Maybe even flip them back and forth and see how each position feels. Check in with your body and with your belly to see how your energy changes when you change positions. I cannot, I cannot expand and contract at the same time. Wow, those words, they landed on me like a ton of bricks, but then they made me feel light as a feather, like a revelation. I cannot expand and keep myself small. I have to stop that. But then I examined what's keeping me small. Look inside right now, check in with your heart space. Ask yourself, why have I hid myself away? Why have I made myself invisible? What was I avoiding? What was I afraid of? Check in with your heart space, get that answer. The answer's inside. The answer's inside. This is your mantra. This is the answer to your answer. This is the talk back to that negative message that isn't true, that negative message that made you hide away. I was afraid because of this, but now I am safe to expand. I was afraid because of fill in the blank with your answer but now I am safe to expand. Say that either silently or out loud on your exhale, inhale with me. I was afraid of, but now I am safe to expand. Add these words if it feels good as additional mantras. This one borrowed from my dear friend Elizabeth Dialto. It is safe for me to shine. Inhale. Exhale. It is safe for me to shine. I am worthy of being heard. Inhale. Exhale, repeat, I am worthy of being heard. My voice is valid. My voice is valid. Next one. The world is waiting to see me. The world is waiting to see the true me. Inhale. Exhale, the world is waiting to see the true me. Your eyes are probably closed right now or you're not looking directly at your screen, but I am moving throughout this whole meditation. I'm swaying back and forth, side to side. I'm moving my hands. Stillness is not just physical stillness. Stillness is being in this moment fully. 
being in this moment. So even when you're still, you're still doing, you're still being, you're still expressing, you're still breathing. Perfect stillness isn't necessary for meditation. Move how it feels good. If something feels juicy, if something feels uncomfortable, sway it out. Just move it out. Back and forth, side to side. Move those hands. My hands are moving in a circular motion right now. They touch my heart, they touch my belly. I inhale and lift. Exhale and settle. It is safe for me to expand. It is safe for me to shine. My voice is worthy of being heard. The world is waiting to see the true me. <sighs> it's true. You cannot expand and contract at the same time. So remind yourself, it is safe for you to expand, to express, to shine, to be seen, to be heard. It is safe. It is safe. It is safe. I got you. I got you. I got you. I love you. I love you. I love you. God loves you. The universe loves you. Your creator loves you. Humanity loves you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm going to lead you out of this meditation with three big, cleansing, joyful inhales and exhales. Easy and effortless, just like how we began, but feeling lighter, happier, more joyful, more alive, more vibrant. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, settle. Inhale one last time to wake you up to the world again. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> return, return, return. Open your eyes. How does it feel? Tell me. Tell me, tell me. I love your comments. I used to say this a lot back when I was doing Periscopes and my first 11-11s, um, and it still holds true. I just don't say it enough. I am so grateful how you show up for me, how you show up for these videos, how you show up on my other social media platforms. I'm so grateful because it inspires and compels me to show up for you. This is my self-care. You are my community. You are my people. I love you so dearly. You mean so much. I say it three times to affirm it. Like first time's like, I love you. Second time's like, hey, I love you. Third time's, I love you. <laughs> and for the same reason, I say thank you three times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you again soon. Wednesday, I come at you live. It's a mixed bag. You never know what you're gonna get. Meditation, a talk. I wanna talk more about this though, this expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting, and how we can manage that to express ourselves bigger and better every single day. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you soon.